Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a simple first person no clip um, weapon no clip system in Unity. Uh, so, the idea is if I have a simple uh, first person character like this with a uh, weapon model attached to it, like so, if I uh, enter play mode, something like this might happen where when I go and uh, face a wall, my gun will clip through. So as you can see, this happens. Uh, what you'd like to do is have the weapon go back whenever it hits the wall, or it's about to do so. So there are many ways to do this. Uh, the most common one is using another camera and overlaying its result in the world, but this is not, sometimes not desirable, and you'd like the actual weapon to not clip through the wall. So to do this, let's first go back uh, in the edit mode. And let's go ahead and in the project window and create a new script and call it noclip. Then open it. Let's remove all of the starter code. Let's make this class sealed. Let's remove the unused namespaces. And it's going to be a very simple script. What we will require is a uh, serialized field called distance of type float. We will need a uh, rate of uh, a, very, a field called radius of type float. As well, because we're not going to do normal ray casting, we're going to do something called sphere casting, which is basically like, <coughs> excuse me, um, thick ray casts. Okay, now we'll go ahead here and add a serialized field, private layer mask, clipping layer mask. Okay, so this is going to be used, for example, to tell um, the, the sphere cast which layers to perform the casting on, for example, you wouldn't, like, your weapon shouldn't go back when you're looking below and the ray is intersecting or hitting your character. So this is going to be useful for doing that. And we'll need a, a private vector3 field called original local position. This is going to be used to store uh, the original uh, weapon local position. And we're losing, using local position because uh, the position is in global space, but we would like to work in the weapons um, with the model's local space, okay? So, let's go and add private function uh, method called start. And set the original local position to transform dot local position. Okay, now we will go and add a private void update, okay? And we're going to do if physics sphere cast um, okay so I'm in unity um, I think yeah 2021.1.13f <coughs> excuse me and I think since unity 2020 uh, they have improved the performance of stuff like camera dot main so that's what we are going to be using here so don't be afraid to use it okay so we're going to say if physics dot sphere cast camera dot main dot v ports Point array. So what this basically does, it takes a point in the viewport space, which is basically uh, 0, 0, uh, 1, 0, 1, 1 uh, on the screen. So it's normalized coordinates and transform it into array going from the camera. Okay. So let's do 0, 1, new vector 3, 0, 1, 5. 0.5 and 0.0f. So this basically takes the uh, the mid, uh, casts array from the center of the screen. Okay, you can use screen point array, but this is just uh, quicker and easier to write. Okay, now we're going to supply more arguments. So the radius of our sphere that's going to be cast, the cl the layer mask that we would like to cast on, sorry, the distance first, and the layer mask that we would like to cast on. Okay, we will also require the uh, hit info, info, so we're going to supply another argument called out var hit, which is going to be a type of type raycast hit. You can use raycast hit, but I just prefer using var, okay. <coughs> so, also you'll need uh, one more field here, which is quite important, and it's going to be a serialized field of type animation curve 
Okay, so we need uh, a good name for this one. Or so let's go ahead and say just um, curve for now, or clipping curve. Okay. Um, you know what? Sorry, it's called offset curve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's going to be used to determine the offset of the weapon from the uh, from the wall, depending on the distance of the head. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we're going to have an else. We're going to say transform dot local position equals the original local position. So if we are not currently near a wall or not uh, hitting the wall with our rays, we're just going to reset our local position to the original one. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so here, what we're going to do is say transform dot local position equals the original local position plus, okay, sorry, minus a new vector 3, we're going to supply 0 in, in the x and uh, y axis, but in the z axis we're going to say offset curve dot evaluate hit the distance divided by the distance. And I think that's pretty much it for this code here. Let's go inside of Unity. <coughs> Okay, as you can see, I have set up my player. I gave it uh, its own layer, okay, called player. I um, attached the camera to it and set the, the clipping to 0 0.01. I added a, an empty game object and called it the weapon divot. This uh, is pretty the preferred way instead of adding the script on the model itself. Uh, and then I have my weapon model over here, okay. Now I'm going to go inside the weapon divot and drag the no clip script and drop it. I'm going to set the distance to 1. I'm going to set the radius to 0 0.125. I'm going to set the clipping layer mask to the default layer only, so these walls. Inside the offset curve, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start um, adding some keys and values. Okay. So what we'd like to do is when our character or when our weapon starts intersecting with the wall, the closer it gets, the bigger the offset becomes. Okay. So we can do this inside the curve editor by going here, add a, add a key, and set the value to 0 and the time to 1. Okay, so when they the hit the distance divided by this distance equals 1, it will have no offset because basically the distance will be so large or larger than or equal to the distance, so the weapon will be far away from the wall. Okay, otherwise we add a key and say the value, for example, to be uh, 1.5 and the time is 0. So, the closer it gets, the higher the offset becomes. So, if hit the distance divided by this distance is equal to, say, for example, 0 0.125, it will get further, further and further away from the wall, okay? So, let's close this. Save again. Let's enter the play mode. Okay, let's f uh, follow our player, see our results. And as you can see now, when I start getting closer to the wall, my weapon um, starts getting uh, further and further away from it. So as you can see, there is still some clipping. You can, you need to start tweaking like the uh, the parameters to your liking. You need to increase the distance. Yep. That way, there is minimal clipping. Okay. As you can see, it works when looking up or down, and uh, this is because we're using a, a sphere cast. If we were, we were using a uh, ray cast, for example, if I was like this close to the wall, it wouldn't start uh, working properly. Okay, it'll it will still move backwards, but it will still clip a little bit like this, but sometimes even worse. Okay, so we might change this when we can keep increasing the distance, but I prefer to. That you change the animation curve and add more keyframes and um, like to make the transition smoother or maybe uh, change like the clipping distances to your liking okay uh, so this is pretty much it uh, thank you for watching i will include a link in the description containing the uh, simple character control script to help you follow along and the new clip will be also included in the description these uh, Web, this web model wasn't uh, modeled by me, it was created by Align Games. I will link the asset store link 
um, to this asset in the description. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.